we're gonna step through exactly how to build an email list fast, completely automated, using this same list building strategies that we use at Primal Video to convert over 30% of our total new YouTube subscribers over to our email list each and every month and all on autopilot. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help you amplify your business and brand with video. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. Growing an email list has had a massive impact on our business. If you're here, then you likely already know just how powerful it can be, especially in an era where it's becoming increasingly difficult to reach your subscribers organically on platforms like YouTube, Facebook or Instagram. Your email list is an asset that you own and that you control no matter what these platforms change in the future. And it gives you a direct line to your most loyal current and future customers to add a ton more value and help them with the next stage in their journey. Now, one of the most powerful ways to build an email list organically is with YouTube and with the systems that we're gonna cover in this video. They allow us to convert over 30% of the number of total new YouTube subscribers each and every month over to our email list completely organically and 100% on autopilot. And don't worry, no matter what stage you're at, even if you're just starting out and don't even have an email platform yet, we're gonna cover the strategies here, but I'll also link you to a free recording of an advanced workshop that we ran that steps you through how to set all this stuff up step by step, including the software that we recommend and everything you need. Now, if you don't have an email platform yet, then that's a pretty big topic. And we did just shoot a video on that, which I'll link up in the cards now. But the short version is, after testing a ton of different platforms, we recommend two options, ConvertKit and ActiveCampaign. ConvertKit is an awesome all-rounder. It's simple and easy to use and really easy to pick up as well. ActiveCampaign is great if you wanna get more in depth with automations because it is super powerful. But with all those extra features, then it can obviously get a little bit more complex as well. Now we at Primal Video don't really shy away from the tech stuff. So we use ActiveCampaign to build out a lot of our automations. But we have run our business on ConvertKit in the past and we love that too. So if you don't have a platform yet, I'd suggest grabbing a trial version of each of them. There are links in the description below, but also checking out our video comparison, which is also linked below. Now it's likely that you might be familiar with the overall strategy, but the real power is in how you set all this up. There's a few simple tips that we're about to run through that can 10X your results and significantly reduce your workload. So the overall strategy here is to drive targeted traffic from YouTube to an opt-in or to an exchange, a lead gen, something that you can offer your audience or offer that traffic to help them in the next step of their journey. It's something that they enter their email address in to receive. Now I'll give you more examples on what these lead magnets could be, but essentially you're looking at things like a PDF download, an MP3 or an exclusive piece of content. So the overall strategy is you're driving targeted traffic over onto your email list by offering an incentive for them to join the list. And that incentive is normally referred to as a lead magnet, a magnet to attract leads. We'll jump into lead magnets and give you examples on that really, really soon. But the idea is that you're exchanging something of value to your audience for their email list. So they're joining your email list and they are receiving the lead magnet. So how this works with video is you mention in the video itself or in the description of the video that you've got this lead magnet for them. Something that's gonna help them in their journey or based on what they've just watched, what's the next step for them. Then they'll click on that, they're taken to an opt-in page which is where they'll enter their email address and then they'll either receive an email from you with that lead magnet in it, or they'll be taken to a page where they can download that lead magnet right away. So now that you understand the strategy, the next step is to select a lead magnet. Now a lead magnet can really be anything that is going to be of value to your audience, and especially that targeted audience. And it could be things like a quick start guide, a gear list, a checklist, or a step-by-step -step process, or it could be some sort of exclusive content that you've created. But the biggest things to remember is that your lead magnet is of high value. It's actually something that your viewers or your audience are going to want to enter their email address in to receive. And it's something that is actually going to help them and that there's value in there for them. You'll also want to make sure that your lead magnet is going to be applicable to a big percentage of your audience. A lot of people in the digital marketing space will tell you that you need to go super niche and create a heap of these things. We've only got three primary opt-ins and it's those three that drive the bulk of the 30% of our new YouTube subscribers that come over onto our email list each and every month. So you definitely don't need to create or have a ton of these things out there. You want something that's gonna be applicable to a large percentage of your audience. 
Every one of them that you create is more setup, so we try to keep them to a minimum. So a couple of examples of lead magnets that we have, we have filming checklists for iPhone and for Android. We also have an editing checklist or an editing process to help people edit in the most efficient way. And we've even got a lead magnet at the end of this video and something that I've already mentioned in this video as well, which is the advanced training on how to set all of this up. But I would say the biggest thing to remember here is to start simple. We literally started with a downloadable one page Google doc. We've now moved to PDF and we've made them look a lot better. But the idea is that you grow it over time. We literally started with a Google doc. So there's no excuse that you need to create something super polished immediately. It's all about testing and updating things over time. So once you've got your lead magnet sorted, the next thing you'll need to do is to create a simple landing page. So a landing page is really just a super basic one page web page. And the idea is that this is where you're sending that traffic to this page where they can enter their email address or any other details, their first name and last name if you'd like. But this is where they go to fill in those details and submit that form to be sent the lead magnet. So for us, how we like to set these things up is to have some sort of graphic or a picture there as a representation of what the lead magnet is. Have a little bit of text there describing what the lead magnet is, but also the features or the benefits or what it's gonna help them do. And obviously you wanna have a field there somewhere where they can enter their email address and or first and last name as well. And just the same with the lead magnets, this is something that you can grow, build out and test and update as you go. It really just needs to be something super simple where they can enter their details to receive that lead magnet. Now I do wanna stress that if you're not a tech person and you're starting to freak out a little bit right now with setting up web pages and those sorts of things, there are some great platforms out there that help you do all of this and we have covered it in our advanced workshop. Then once you've got your landing page set up, you'll wanna send those lead magnets to anyone that opts in. Platforms like ActiveCampaign and ConvertKit can help you do this straight out of the box. The process itself is gonna depend on which platform you use, but really here, this is where you're setting up your email platform to capture that email address and to add it to your email list and to obviously send out that lead magnet that you'd promised the people opting in. And this is something that you only need to set up once and it's automatically gonna send those lead magnets out for you on your behalf. So now once you've got it all set up, the last thing you need to do is to promote it. Now really you can promote your lead magnet anywhere, but this is something that we've found YouTube to be super powerful for. That one lead magnet that you create could be linked to multiple pieces of content or multiple YouTube videos, all driving traffic to it. But you do wanna make sure that the traffic that you're driving or the traffic that you're mentioning this lead magnet to is in line or will be interested in what the lead magnet is. So for us, we'll only ever mention our video editing process lead magnet, the primal video method. We'll only mention that in any videos that are directly related to video editing because that way we know that anyone watching any of those videos on video editing, this is actually the logical next step for them. They're interested in editing, we can help them edit faster. So it's a perfect fit for anyone that is watching those videos. While we could go and mention our editing guide at the end of a camera review, because cameras and editing can go hand in hand, it's too much separation for our viewers. It can feel salesy or like you're trying to sell them something if it's not 100% in line. So any content that we've got around video editing, video editing software, how to edit faster, all of those have that lead magnet linked at the end. So from then on, when you're creating any videos related to that lead magnet or where that lead magnet is gonna be a perfect fit for that video content, you'll wanna mention it at the end of the videos. Because at that point, you know the audience is interested, they've stuck around through the entire video, and that's where it's gonna be the logical fit for them to take the next step with you to download whatever your lead gen is. And you can definitely also have it linked in your description boxes as well. Now, if you want a full walkthrough of this entire setup process, stepping through exactly how to set all of this up step-by-step, step, including walkthroughs of setting up the email platforms and the landing pages, the whole process, then check the link in our description box. But before we wrap up, remember that this is just the beginning, now that they're on your list. Once someone finds you, once they watch your video, have grabbed your lead magnet, then you now have the perfect opportunity to add a ton more value. You know what they're struggling with. You know what topics they're interested in or what stage they're at on their journey. So you can easily start to set up some automated funnels and start sharing with them the most valuable tools or content that you know is gonna help them next. Now this will not only help your most loyal subscribers and drive traffic to your existing content, but it's also an amazing way to really build deeper relationships and more rapport by adding value over and beyond what most people do. And you can do it all on autopilot. 
All right, so it's that time in the video where the links appear on screen. One of them is to our advanced workshop training, taking you through step-by-step -step on how to set all of this stuff up. The other one is to our YouTube video to help you decide which email marketing software is the right one for you. And I'll see you soon.